Hi, I'm Faith. And I'm Nasa. And this is Go Go Ladies, a podcast about navigating life, love, and so much more from a 40 plus perspective. All the time I think of you holding on to someone new. Don't make me lose my mind. That's not the one I want. That's 1994 Usher. Thank you. That was the original OG. That's Chattanooga Usher. Exactly. <laughs> he was Before really he looking just like his mama. His face was a little chubby on that album. He was little. He was little. He was a baby. He was a baby. He's singing nasty. Can you get with it? It's like that. It's only a sexual thing. Why was I singing that? I'm 12 years old. <laughs> I saw him in concert. He opened for Janet Jackson here. <clears throat> and... I was just like, who's the little baby? And this little baby, Usher. That's Usher. U S H E R R A Y M O N D. What? Okay. Okay. Uh, hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Welcome to um, the Usher show. It's Big right? Usher Weekend. <laughs> I don't know if y'all know. Not the little Usher. Okay. Big Usher Weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Say what I said. You know, with your chest. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. There's apparently some kind of event that he's oh performing Lord. at. <laughs> I'm not going to get into that yet. Okay, okay, hold on. I know. Um, Before we go any further, like, comment, subscribe, share, follow the Go Ladies podcast on all platforms where you stream podcasts. Welcome back. We have a whole rundown and we went straight to we do. Big Usher Wiki. <laughs> we do. But I think that is like organic to who we are. Like, we work in news, but this ain't news. And Nessa's body rolling, for those of you who only have the audio. And her tongue is out. Because um, you know when that tongue come out, it's serious. <laughs> it is so serious. <laughs> Why are you like this? <laughs> it is my tail. I can't play poker because it's my tail. That tongue, honey. Yes. It's go time. It is. It is. Fellas. Look, All right. If you date me okay. and don't have the cheat codes, then you slow. That's we true. Give cheat codes every week. We give them every week. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So where oh, you been? Yeah. Where I've been with you. Is that right? <laughs> where you been? So Nasa and I were handling Delta business. You might have seen it on our uh, social media. Yes. Yes. So we were not in the studio. No. So you missed. We missed last week. So. Yeah, we missed. Sorry, guys. But people was like, "Where the show at?" And I'm like, "Yeah, Delta got it." <laughs> right. Basically. So. I would say they should let us do like a live recording, but our content. <laughs> no. no. Nevertheless, no, 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 no. we were handling the business. Yes. And uh, yeah, we were in Memphis. M E M P H I S. I'm not going to say the rest. Exactly. <laughs> um, and we made it back to Nashville safely. <laughs> so, can we just pause for a second? Yes. So. Obviously, I'm not going to tell everything because you got to be in to be in the know, right? Right, right. However, DJ, the DJ was playing. Mm. Somebody caught me strolling. I don't like that. This one right here. It's on video. I, mm-hmm. yeah. Go to IG. But what I'm happy she didn't catch is what? when they were playing Memphis Gangsta Walk music. You was gangsta walking? I sure did. I gangsta walk too. <laughs> <laughs> was the the room. I was standing next to the chapter that I advised yes. and I'm trying to have a you know trying to be yeah, an advisor yes, status yes. Over, over there I'm NASA status but right. over here yeah. I'll be an advisor status oh, checking the people oh hell and the song comes on and I'm like do, 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 do. and I'm trying I'm trying to chill do, 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 so I'm like do, do, do. okay just do a little uh mm, 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 mm. you know a little something not too hard not too hard but then my shoulder kept going <laughs> my shoulder like, oh, kept going uh-oh. Uh oh! Ain't no chill, gangsta walk. <laughs> no. Oh. And then BB go by with the flag <laughs> in the air like this. I said, "Well, here we go. <laughs> we in it now." <laughs> Literally, BB was hitting it hard. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, come on, BB. <laughs> if you don't know about the Memphis gangsta walk, and you missing out, you missing out. Because <laughs> what a time to be. What alive. a time. <laughs> Mosh pit slash. Yeah, circle. circle. You're going in a circle. And there's different variations. So it's you can do very tribal if you think about it. It is. Yeah. There's different variations. Yes. There's a yes. the cute little shuffle. Yes. There's the move with you yes. know, there's yes. the, mm, just mm-hmm. walking backwards, just bumping people. It's a whole thing. Yeah. And if you know, you know. Pretty much. But if you don't, 
Stand out in the circle. Stay, yeah. Don't be Just in the circle. Don't be in the circle. And look, if you get bumped, you get bumped. And this right. Ain't no, this ain't no time to fight. Right. This is if you get bumped, you get bumped. It is what it is. Exactly. Yeah. So. I didn't great. get you gangster. Girl, <laughs> the spirit that caught me. I said, oh, it got me. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I was out there. Well, I was privileged to be able to go a day ahead of our conference um, for work and <clears throat> do like uh, the Grizzlies had their HBCU night. Um, so that was really cool. They had uh, Mississippi Valley State. Their band performed at halftime. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> what? That's Ooh. nice. And then uh, Eric. Oh, and, oh. and then <laughs> I can't get it out. <laughs> Lemoyne Owen, the only HBCU in Memphis, because mm -hmm. Lane's in Jackson. Um, mm -hmm. Their cheerleaders came out and did their thing. Like they did things all throughout the game. Are they straight cheerleaders? The yeah. <laughs> so I have to do it. Yeah. Yes. Okay. They are. They stump and shake. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then there was like the the D nine did their thing. Um, also, to which my mama said that um, that's the first time she ever seen all of them together because there's some orgs that she's just not familiar with and i'm that's me saying it nicely i'm not saying what she said so <laughs> i know a parent who does not say divine nine mm. she still rolls with the grade eight <laughs> I said, Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. she's like you mean the grade eight <laughs> no 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 the divine nine. nine it's nine of them yeah, yeah so. really nine. <laughs> like where you be at but, and they but she didn't yeah. did not recognize yeah. like, I was like there's nine now yeah, yeah. it's not yeah. the great eight so. yeah so it was a good time I saw my nephew the baby he's not a baby he's not a baby he is so handsome and so grown and so just amazing and he reminds me of his age now all the time and my like, jeans is real strong I, look, I know yeah mm -hmm. So a little yeah, chocolate drop, babe. That was good. A little family reunion, a little sorority stuff. Good he stuff. He still got a little girlfriend. Oh, he has another girlfriend now. Oh, okay, because um, you know I got some daughters. I know you do. He has <laughs> so, another. You know he got Christian family. Doesn't he a good family? Yeah, yeah, yeah we like him. He he has another girlfriend now. Mm -hmm. Invite him on up here. <laughs> here. Next time he's in town, yeah. I will they swing have by. A play date. We like a different kid. <laughs> You know, a little casual interaction. Because <laughs> you can't plan it too hard. Then they'd be like, oh. That's true. They rebel. It has yes. to be organic. Yes. Like, yes. You know. Yes. Okay, matchmaking. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Go ahead. But that's where we've been. We were gangster walking and avoiding piles and getting shot and all the above. Um, but where better to be for Black History Month than Memphis? Exactly. Why not? I love Memphis. People were like, "You always love." Have no, I know. I went to school there. But they're like, "Be careful, because this is not the same as when you was in school." And I was like, "I understand that. I I, I know the rules. I do my best. <laughs> Stay out the way." <laughs> so. so every place right now, I feel like it's rowdier than it used to be. I mean, well, yeah, it's just it is what it is. Yeah. But it's not good. No, 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 it is what it is. But we have a good time. Yeah. I love seeing Ace and her element. It's just, it's just so great. Pause. It's okay. on the card, but we should, we we're going to talk about this, and we did not yet. Mm. We forgot. Excuse me. What? So while we're in Memphis, mm -hmm. we were having a late night snack and oh, libations mm -hmm. at the mm -hmm. bar. Mm -hmm. um, and while we're there, we're talking to other people. And of course, because this hotel is right next to the convention center where we were yeah. you know, mm -hmm. meeting, mm -hmm. it's a lot of other ladies of Crimson and Cream there. Also, there was a male who was obviously overserved. Yes. Obviously. Mm -hmm. Black male, obviously mm -hmm. overserved, and proceeds to pester every table. Every table. Like, Except for ours. Well, yeah, because we didn't give him no time of day. Exactly. Not one. He comes to our table. We all ignored him. <clears throat> yeah. Like he did not exist. Yeah. Yep. Like, really. Yeah. And he's a member of the Divine Nine, too. Mm-hmm. Um, I ain't going to say which one, because I ain't going to put that on them. You know what right, I mean? Right, right, yes. Because this was this his an mistake. individual. Yes. Yeah. So, he going around pestering people, ends up pestering the table right next to us. Mm-hmm. And I don't know what was said. Right. Um, 
in hindsight, the girl said, you know, he was pestering this lady. Another Sora comes over and was like, hey, just leave her alone. Yeah. She doesn't want to be bothered with this. Mm-hmm. And then he goes off. And she, the lady who intervened was like, my husband's your same chapter like calm down mm-hmm. like and then that takes him off to a whole other level yelling all these things right yeah now the hotel mm-hmm. intervened a little bit mm-hmm. like a little a bit smidge yeah and was like you gotta leave mm-hmm. but so he leaves yeah he goes outside 10 whole minutes maybe 30 yeah, minutes yeah yeah he's back in the lobby mm-hmm. and we're like wait a minute yeah <laughs> how are you back where'd you come from right mm-hmm because that's not cool. No. And then ended up back at the damn bar. He did. And yeah. so, if that wasn't bad enough, mm. we had a, um, a bartender who we were like, Whew. Whew, what is going on? You know, yeah, and, and yeah. try conversation you have with your bartender. Mm. And she was like, what did she say? Like, he didn't do anything wrong or whatever. Yeah. She and then like, she was like, that's my boyfriend. boyfriend. And it took him food after yeah. he got kicked out but came right back. Yeah. And I'm just like, then check your man like at your place of work at that too. your place like, of work yeah he pestered every chick in yes. here yes like I'm sorry I'll be like sit your ass down yeah. here yeah eat these chicken fingers and this piece of bread yeah. calm yourself down yeah. yep yep absolutely like that's a reflection on you at absolutely your workplace. I'm sorry mm-hmm I'm like Coyote Ugly on the movie remember the movie Coyote I do Ugly? remember you don't bring your boyfriend to the work you don't like why is he you, up here you do not yeah and when at first we thought she was joking i did yeah you, you know because at if you're a bartender you have regulars and you're like, oh, that's my boyfriend yeah and then, then me and you looked night. at each other and i was like oh she for real took him a plate of food yeah i said oh yeah okay it was very uh i don't uncomfortable for me it was just it was uncomfortable because it was just very loud and belligerent and obviously very drunk yeah. And no one else was on that vibe. Nobody in it. Just, Everybody else was just chilling. Yeah. Eating a little late night snack. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Trying yeah. to have a Yeah. It was. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So. Get your dude. More of the story is. Check your people's. Yeah. Like, Don't have them out here in general. But especially at your job. Think about your job. Whatever your job is. Acting a donkey. Like. No. Mm. I guess maybe she knew her job wasn't going to do nothing though because they sure didn't do nothing. So. Mm. A word. All right. <clears throat> All right. Where are we at? Black History Month. The Grammys is so black. Mm, mm, mm. Black History Month because I'm black, y'all. And I'm black, y'all. And I'm black and black because I'm black, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how Alan Payne's doing. Go ahead. Sorry. Hey, Alan Payne. So did you watch the Grammys? I watched some of the Grammys. I watched snippets of the Grammys. Okay. I can't watch it in real time. No yeah, I can't either. Times have just changed. Like for me, award shows and things of that nature, they aren't, I'm older. I don't really care that much. And because they capture stuff so quickly. And yes. So quickly. Yes. I'm still part of the conversation without being tied to it. Absolutely. I can watch a movie. My phone goes like, aha, Tracy yeah. Chapman. Yeah. Looking like black royalty. Come on. Looking well moisturized. Skin popping. Well loved. Unbothered. I don't know her story, but she looking good. She looks good. She yeah. Looks good. Yeah. Like I was like, oh, she looks the exact same. But look she great. She really does. Yeah. Cheekbones look good. Right. She's like, you go, Tracy. Well moisturized. Like, is that cocoa butter you serum? What you using instead of feel? What you got? It's, it, that and it might just be peace. She's not been in the spotlight. She might live in Wyoming. Who knows? <laughs> I'm just saying. You know what I mean? She out the way. But it's peace and moisturizer. It's peace and <laughs> yes, water. Good, good living. Wyoming a little rough. So you little Montana. A little extra. Yeah. The, yeah, she might yeah. be Idaho. She might be. They be living out there. So. <laughs> <laughs> just because you have the fast car she and she and the great I mean it's not LA you know what I'm saying like sometimes the industry be. if you're like industry she might be like Northern California where it's farmland she might be in the middle of LA right now she's not in LA Tracy call me you not in LA <laughs> she could be in Atlanta Atlanta <laughs> She could be in Georgia, not Atlanta. You can find peace nope. wherever you are. It's Tracy. I don't, I'm not buying Okay, it. you're not buying nope. it. Nope. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, Tracy looks great from my own. She looks good. <laughs> Continue. I don't want to no more. <laughs> the Grammys, well, in terms of, like, not watching award shows, 
all we had was that like you knew what your viewing was when you were younger so you sat and watched it in real time now there's so many things vying for your attention girl i'm not i'm not like anticipate oh the grammy's coming on let me sit here for three hours and watch the grammys no Mm-mm. no no and in my <laughs> profession i probably should watch it a little bit tighter than i did yeah. but you got um, highlights like I, you said exactly with some highlights yeah i'm gonna read that paper the next day yeah oh y'all want it okay yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at God. You sound you know? like me. That's me with sports. Oh, they won. All right. Good job. Stop. <laughs> Thank you. Do you watch Kevo Stages' uh, Here's the Thing podcast? Uh, not really. See them, but so. we are. We are. Yes. Yes, but angels give a sports recap mm-hmm. she does sports like i do and she's like they was out there running and tackling. Yes, and stuff. I've seen that. <laughs> yes. yes. I'm like, that's me. Because mm-hmm, we me. don't. I mean, they do stuff. They catch and throw. They do their job. <laughs> yeah. They're really good at it. They are. See? But Grammys, yes. Yeah. All right. We got the highlights. It's Black History Month. Um, I know what, what SZA won. I love seeing Lizzo. I love seeing their friendship. Yeah. As a black I woman, like most other. times we are, we're going to celebrate each other. I love like just the clips from various shows where you see Taraji like, yeah, like, and that's, that's real. Good we thing. do yeah. that. You know what I mean? Like, I want you to win. Girl. All day. <laughs> so, yeah, that mm. was dope. But yeah, I didn't, I didn't see all of it. I hate the post Grammy conversation of the whole, Yonte has 6,000 Grammys and not Artist of the Year. Mm-hmm. And how did Taylor get it four times and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. Um, we're not a part of the Recording Academy. About, exactly. And when you think <laughs> about it, it's like the, the Grammys are an award that's voted on by people in the industry Mm -hmm. you know it's not the billboard awards right where it's based upon you know yes yep this is really about you know Mm -hmm. people in the industry Mm -hmm. and i equate it to being on a jury Mm. you know Mm -hmm. in the 60s we have all white juries i'm still coming today let's be honest but in the 60s definitely all white juries Mm -hmm. because we weren't allowed to vote you got to be a registered voter to be on the jury yep so if we're not in the mix like Mm -hmm. that you know because we have historically not been in the powers of position you know position of power yeah then it's like you know what what do you expect yeah you asked a really good question though you said why do we care oh yeah nice and i talked about that why why do we care why do we as as Black artists, time and time again, you know, they they get snubbed or feel as though they've been snubbed. Right. I'll, I'll admit, you know, I don't know they've been snubbed because I don't listen to all the artists who they're up against. So I can't say whether or not. But yeah, I'm rooting for everybody black. But yeah. I'm like, I ain't listened to that project either. But yeah, I'm like, what, year after year when these institutions have shown us who they are, I do wonder why do we then care when they're showing us who they are and get so upset and they didn't give us or we didn't get instead of going again where you're celebrated and not tolerated you know yeah. you do have your NAACP awards and and OBT has done all these different awards and whatnot the but of their awards yeah exactly. I know but yeah yeah so that's uh, why do we care I think <laughs> I don't care in, yeah. like, but I'm not in the mix like that right right I will say I think that people and the artists expect to amass a certain level of power that comes with that award it is validation for all my hard work Mm -hmm. it should be the entrance into some different rooms that i can't reach right now Mm -hmm. um but what we've seen is that doesn't necessarily happen for black artists right you can get all the accolades Mm -hmm. it's like black people you can get all the degrees yes and still not have access to where you want to be you know and so it's like, does that, you know, award even matter? But, hell, I like awards, too. Right. Everybody likes to have their stuff recognized. Absolutely. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So. I just feel like, with again, I can't tell them how to feel. With right. Beyonce is still Beyonce. You know what I mean? Like, Beyonce she's Beyonce. in the room. She is the room. She, she is. is. She so, I'm like. I need a bigger lens. You know. <laughs> but, again, when you and I talked about it, what I love, I mean, that's her husband. He's going up there, not just a fan. Yeah, her husband has the platform. He yeah. should ride for his wife. So, on that note, I was like, you better rep your wife. Uh, <laughs> and Blue Ivy looked lovely. I'm yeah. sorry, as, a, as an aside. But, but then yeah. everybody was like, well, you know, he embarrassed her. Did Do y'all he? think that they don't talk at the house? Thank you. Like, 
Yeah, I don't. You think it uh, wasn't? Child, okay. Okay. Now, I do want to say, and I don't, no shade. <laughs> what is Dr. Dre's global impact? Because it was the Dr. Dre global impact. That's the, that's after him, because he, he does the stuff. You see, nice to look down, because I'm like, he's like, did he do like something for So, it? here's the deal. Family? Dr. Dre. <laughs> Change music worldwide, right? True. Okay. Dr. Dre, as a producer, mm-hmm. has done great work. Yes. For years mm-hmm. and champion artists and all these different okay. things. And even on the production side, the beats, all that, you know, the business side of it. Mm-hmm. He, he got it, right? Yes. Yes. Wasn't he the first one to get to the B status? Sure. So I'm like, okay. Okay. I have an issue sometimes separating this is just me being honest the man from the art from the man mm-hmm. and there you know mm-hmm. and so you know where i'm going i, I also don't believe you should be vilified for your worst day true however <clears throat> if you have a consistent pattern mm-hmm. of worst days then are you actually remorseful and doing better Mm-hmm. You know, his transgressions are well documented. They are. You know? Yeah. But here we are. We also grew up in a time of the 90s where we weren't having these conversations mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. at the rate, you know? Right. That was just the price of doing business. Right, right, right. You right. know? Yeah. And so now that we have the words and the climate has changed and the support in some instances mm-hmm. to have these conversations, it is worth saying should this award be named after him? Still, you know? Yeah. I don't know. But he assaulted black women and who Exactly. Us. Yeah. Cause when I that I'll admit that was my first time hearing yeah. that award. No, it's been out there for a minute. Yeah, see I <laughs> I didn't pay attention. I I I didn't. And but then I because it's Jay and Jay is mm-hmm. a huge Jay fan, but I was like, Dr. Dre Global Impact. <laughs> mm-hmm. I kinda have a problem with that. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Mm. So I, I don't. I don't know. Yeah. And you know. Yeah. Okay. Who should it be that? That's true. Because everybody got some. And exactly. <laughs> Especially. And that's industry. the thing too. So that's the wrestle that you have to have. Like, yeah. Separate the man from the art. Okay. Mm-hmm. Cool. Shouldn't be vilified for your worst day. Okay. Cool. Yeah. But you shouldn't keep doing the worst day. Cool. Mm-hmm. But also, we want mercy for ourselves and justice for others. And so it's like all these different things come into play when yeah. you think about that. Like, because mm-hmm. if we just open it up, closet doors, everybody got some skeletons in yeah. the mug. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's just the fact of, like, church, do your sins, right? My sin, yes. or the hierarchy of sins. Yes. And the Lord looked at you like, no, y'all equal over here. Y'all all messy as hell, you know? Yeah, yeah. No. Okay, it's true. okay, but I'm not a pedophile. It's I'm a fornicator. It's okay. I'm not, you know, a homosexual. Right, right, right. You know, it's yeah. depending on the hierarchy of how yeah, things go. Yeah. So I might be a pedophile, but I'm I'm not fucking the same sex. Like right. what? Like yeah. there's no hierarchy of this. Like people just grind me. In general. That was a good quote. That's it. We That's all fall short. Right. <laughs> we do. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you. No problem. That was good. Um Black History Month, though. Okay. Okay, so Nason and I have talked about this. I get really excited about Black <laughs> History Month. It is my jam. And I just love being Black. We love being Black. But, so, I, the whole, like, mad either way, what your child said. Ooh. So, <laughs> I took it upon myself to school my team at work on Black History Month. I'm like, I volunteer. <laughs> We go learn today. <laughs> and I was so excited and I'm honored because I just grew up in that. I know we've talked about it. Just brief recap. Being from Detroit, um, we had the school I went to was called Bates Academy. We had the Bates battle every February where you were on teams and it was black history trivia in front of the entire school. So when I tell you like now people teach the test. No, Bates, Black History was a part of the curriculum, at least for February. Like, you got in groups, you learned all this stuff, and then you would go up in front of the school and you would win prizes, which prizes would be like candy. But <laughs> but you happy, though. So I am. And so, fast forward, one of the people I went to school with, he's um, a newspaper reporter. 
And he posted the other day, he was like, who's up uh, for a redo of the Bates battle? I was like, I want to do it. (laughs) Anyways, so that's it. But I just really love Black History Month and I love Black History. You can see I'm excited right now. (laughs) You really, really are. So I took it upon myself to school my team. To which Nace and I were talking about your kid. Yeah, so my (laughs) oldest made the statement. She was like, you know... You're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't, right? Mm-hmm. And so, while Faith is like, yes, I want to spread the word of black history and be an ambassador for black history, my point is, why do we always have to do the heavy lift? Right. Why do we have to do the heavy lift all mm-hmm. the time? There's a plethora. You can go on Hulu right now here, the black people movies, and it'll pull up all the documentaries of yep. black history. Yeah. Same thing for any other Every thing. Every platform. So why yeah. do I have to spoon feed you mm-hmm black history specifically that's part of american history Mm -hmm. but it's already out there for you to you know to digest Mm -hmm. nobody to come to me and be like here's white people history it was just history class but you know right right i know what you mean i just personally don't you know feel like i have to do that also when do we get a break so thinking about this Mm -hmm. last year it's juneteenth yes and I have clients, some clients that are African American businesses mm-hmm. or organizations. So I'm black. It's Juneteenth, and I work with a black business who's doing stuff on Juneteenth because they black. Well, I don't get no Juneteenth break. You okay, don't. cool. It's black History Month. You want me to come and educate the people about the Black History Month, you know, internal or whatever. Mm-hmm. There's no break there. Mm-hmm. Um, Whenever there is a miscellaneous black person shot by the police, yes. or, you know, or murdered by the police is the better mm-hmm. term, actually. Um, we have to have these, you know, these powwows and how are you feeling these touch ins. Mm-hmm. People want to come ask me my opinion and what should we do. I have no more intellectual capital to give to you yes. for these things. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I want to just sit back and be like, I'm effed up too. Right. Let me process mm-hmm. the state of the world on my own and mm-hmm. not have to be performative okay and bring you along and make sure your allyship is right like i'm tired okay. like i don't like that however Kamala, exactly <laughs> here we go let's say that they did the black history showcase and everybody has blonde hair and blue eyes <laughs> and obviously it looked like y'all ain't got nobody black yeah, to do this with you. come on so i understand yeah. yeah but damned if you do damned if you don't mm-hmm. because you have to have somebody in the room yeah. to make it make sense. And maybe we have to do a better job of having more black people mm. and people of color in general. Yes. So that way that burden is not always just placed upon one person. Yep. Like, yeah. yeah. Imagine if you only had a company with one woman. So Women's History Month, it's like, all right, babe. <laughs> Tell us about the vagina. It's, <laughs> it's like, what? Why can well, I tell you on the vagina? Not right. Like, like, don't y'all know women in your real life? You know what I mean? Teach me about the vagina. But seriously. Be yes. Like, don't y'all know yeah, women? Yeah, absolutely. Don't you live with women? Yes. Are women your neighbors? Like, dang. Yes. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But I guess then, you. if it was a big girl you're talking about the labia, you'd be like, he don't even have no vagina. Why talking about the vagina? He don't know what the vagina do. Uh, right. You know? Yeah, so. it is. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's hard it is it's a, I, for me I will say on my team I, I know I'm the only so I volunteered yeah. because my thought and I've shared this with Nasa was like you ain't gonna tell me about me <laughs> I'm gonna just go ahead and teach it because yeah. I know but that's just my perspective on it yeah. so but I get it I get both sides I understandably just, I, just I remember being <laughs> on it's a different company I was with at the time mm-hmm. but um the Brianna Taylor decision mm, came mm-hmm, out mm-hmm. and we're on a diversity call that I'm facilitating <sighs> and this whole verdict comes out yeah. on our phone. Yeah. And so of course everybody sees it. Mm-hmm. And of course the mood shifts, mm-hmm. right? And it's a virtual call. Cause I worked for a global company at the time, but global impact or <laughs> so mm. we had to call it out. Yeah. Like I know. Mm-hmm. And it sucks. Yeah. And we're going to continue on with this presentation and, and press on, but take the time you need after this, because mm-hmm. this right here is our safe space. Yeah. So let's, let's fill it together mm-hmm. and then, you know, take the time you need to fill it afterwards. So, but it's hard. It's very hard. And the work never stops. It doesn't. Yeah. But this weekend. Come on. The Lord saw fit. Mm. To give us a respite. <laughs> <laughs> they remain it the rest. They said, 
Don't leave your girl around me. <laughs> True player for real. She was waiting <laughs> to drop these bars. Yeah. Ask Mason said, for real. Watch this. <laughs> so, do, 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 do. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's the Usher Bowl. This <laughs> it's the Usher Bowl. It's the Usher Bowl. There's a, um, the opening acts um, are the Kansas City Chiefs yes. and the 49ers. Yes. So they're going to do a little performance before he takes the stage. But, yes, um, and you're hearing this before. We'll give you our recap. Yes, but yes. So when you hear this, yeah. he will have performed exactly. I yes, to say that. that's okay. Yeah, because we tape on Saturday. Yes, the show's tomorrow. Yeah. Let me yeah. talk about this man. <laughs> I've seen the show. You, ha- okay. I was in Vegas. We know. Thank you. I saw the show. I've never seen Usher. Ooh, I've seen him as a child. I've seen him as a grown, 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 much better girl. <laughs> <laughs> grown, much better girl. <laughs> Um, okay. And this man's a marketing genius. Mm-hmm. He said, I'm going to do this little Vegas residency for Absolutely. years. Yes, yes. And still sold out and raised ticket prices. They didn't drop. Didn't no, break. no. Ticket prices kept going up because he can. Because <sighs> he's magical. He's magical. He did eight days in Paris. Why? He did. Because he's magical. Because he can. Just yeah. a little tiny desk. Let me go ahead and grace y'all. That's how he does was so Let good. Let me go ahead and grace y'all with these vocals. Mm-hmm. Y'all think this is smoke and mirrors. Let me just stand here in front of all y'all. Was so and good. hit the note. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It was so good. Yes. Then he said, I'll do Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Sure. Cool. Why not? Why not? I'm not doing anything else. No. <laughs> then they said, huh. well, since I'm going to do Super Bowl, mm-hmm. I might as well drop an album. Yep. Give y'all a little something mm-hmm. to bop to. Yes. Since you're going to be all. Absolutely. Only. Yes. I said, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Then he said. What else, girl? You know what? What? Y'all came to see me. I'm going to come see y'all. Mm. Concert tour. Excuse I me. said, look Did at y'all get Jesus. y'all tickets? So, okay. let me say about that, though. We're going to work on that. Now, mm. that's the one thing I felt like he did not do well. First of all, I share. Raymond. Mm-hmm. Um, you're coming to the A on my birthday. I feel like if you gave Paris eight days, you gotta give the A more days. Okay. Like we need need some more days in the A. He might add some more. Because uh, I feel like he already did add some more. Right. He, he had still two. Might. Yes. And he added some more. You know. And I'm mm-hmm. like, that's that's really nice. That's really nice. Ah! But we need you mm. to add some more. Okay. Because Atlanta, you got to see it in the A. I know. I want an A town stop. I know. I know. I want to leave it a little bit. I was looking at the ticket prices and I was like, like the pre sales. And I was like, oh, okay. I might have to turn to prostitution. (laughs) It's like, who going to pay for this? Mm-mm. Ticket prices are outrageously They're high right crazy. now. Crazy, and then you have added fees if you're not going like to the box office or whatever. Oh, girl, Ticketmaster got them fees. <sighs> Ticketmaster got a fee for each letter of the name. Absolutely. Here's the um, Usher coming fee. Here's the, um, <laughs> the <Usher. laughs> right. Here's the <laughs> here's the venue the fee. Bit, right facility. You might got a pee. Here's the bathroom yep, fee. Yep. Here's the no. you want you want to park and walk on the ground. Come on. Oh, here's that fee here's too. That fee. Here's just because we like to work the fee. Mm-hmm, fee. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, yeah. How your fee is fifty five dollars? Yeah. Like what? I do. I want to go. Hopefully we can go. We're putting that out into yes. the atmosphere. The Go Ladies podcast needs to be in the building for Usher. We do. In the A. We do. We do. Okay. Because I, I just feel like the A is where it's going to be. Oh, everybody going to be there. Er, everybody. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of like when Meg went to Houston for Beyonce. I know. Even though her LA show did have more, had, had Miss Ross. Yeah. And some additional, sure, you know, girl. I love the Miss Ross. But that was her birthday. Right. So, right. it's a little yes. different. Yes. But. Yeah. This is... Okay. And he was on Club Shay Shay. Okay, he was on... Cl- is that this one? That's that one. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're going to come back to that. Uh, <laughs> next I get follow excited. The, you talking about his draws. You want to talk about that? Because you talked about the Super Bowl, the concert dates, the album, and then he was naked. What though? And his draws. 
Nice and not even calling them by the correct company name. They just got Usher Draws. It says it on our card. Usher Draws. Draws. Because. Because what? Mm-hmm. This man got all these white draws. He do got on draws. And these huge diamonds in his ear that aren't on his lobe. They're right here in his ear, which is very, very interesting to me. I was like, oh, I can't You want to touch it? I do. <laughs> I did. I touch you. Because it's like in the ear right here. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I kind of like that. I kind of like that. So. Yeah. And then he's holding the peach. I, you know me. I don't have no sense. I was like, oh, he's the housewife. <laughs> <laughs> he earned his peach. That was not what I was thinking. <laughs> I know. At all. <laughs> Listen, people I know that know his family are upset he's not coming to Tennessee at all. He is from Chattanooga. He was born in Chattanooga, but he grew up in Atlanta. I I know that feeling. <laughs> hmm. So, yeah. No, he's not coming to Tennessee. You'll have to go to Atlanta or any other city to see him. Us draws. I don't know what... And I, th- this is not blasphemy. Okay. I truly do love us and i'm a fan yes but i never was like sexually like oh my god usher he doesn't do that for me but he for me is like he is a wonderful entertainer and he is handsome and very charming but my kitty cat don't be like wow ooh, usher it didn't until later in life okay like to pass four. Okay. Yeah. As he's he, matured. He's a grown man now. He he, he's very grown. Man. Daddy, like, husband. Knows, because home. here's the deal. Back old school Usher. Right. Dancing machine. Yes. Move around a whole lot. Yeah. A lot, a lot of energy. Yes. You know, that's that's nice. Yeah. You know, that's nice. Right. That's, that's, that's appropriate <laughs> that's for nice. the age group. Yes. Grown man Usher is giving us okay. quality over quantity. Okay. And there's something to be said about that. I okay. was like, oh. Okay. And you've seen you've seen the, the show, so yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. The show is sexy, yeah, yeah, and it's playful and it's a grown man and it's I multifaceted, like yeah. And that's what I like about it. Okay. You know, yes, yeah. he gonna a town stop. Yes, he gonna yes, skate. yes, he gonna like. And I think that's the part that I think that we look for in a man in general mm-hmm. is the multifaceted nature. Can mm-hmm. I take you out? You not embarrass me? Right? Can you also deem me down? Can mm-hmm. you go to church on Sunday? Amen. And not, you know, so like, can you fit in all these places? Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? And so that's and part of the his, sex appeal. Yeah. It's I the grown you. man sex appeal. I got you. Yep. I do. I, I love Usher, but I don't have the. Let me throw my drawers on the stage. Mm-mm. Like, if I was around for Teddy P or Marvin Gaye. <laughs> go ahead. Sorry. Teddy P still give me y'all I told y'all before I be in the car hollering as though Teddy P just dropped the song Turn yesterday the <sighs> oh. oh lord you mm. right. Mm. right I'm a little hot now I am I just turn them off it's chocolate with the beard and his voice had like gravel in it it's just Mm-mm. Try to be sexy. I'm gonna turn them off. I'm That's back it. in the day when every R and B singer did that pose where they did this. They lean back into <laughs> it, and the camera, but they all lean back. Lana Richie did it. Oh, Marvin God. did it. They lean back. Michael did it. We gonna lean back and mm. show you the body. <laughs> like, why y'all lean it? But God, hold on, let me get myself right, together. Get together. <laughs> are you cry when you laugh? I got hot over Teddy P. <laughs> Ain't this the best? So my son comes out she gets the fan in. <laughs> something wrong with us I don't mm. know us, he said mm. come on and go with me why my hair lost out come on over to my place girl you didn't come in now I've been watching you they was at the bar together it's stalkerish oh. but it's still sexy <laughs> come on come on back so, okay I'm come sorry. on back <laughs> okay thank you okay, come on back I'm back okay 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 your hair looks fine it's not like okay that. thank you okay sorry focus yes. focus tab <laughs> We love Tab of the Brown. She be like, focus, Tab. Okay. okay. <laughs> so now you know how we feel about the Usher. Yes. And how she feel about Teddy P. I know. I didn't bother. I feel like I should have mentioned his name. <laughs> like the name that should not be mentioned. I don't know what happened. The right. spirit just <laughs> came over me. Okay. okay. Whew. Talk about the shirt. March merch. Okay. Nasa Body Road. Go, ladies. We have merch coming out. Look for it in March. Mm. And that's part of our support black businesses. Yep. Yes, initiative. That's our to go. (laughs) Could be the black business. (laughs) Because we're black. And it's, you know, right now, Black History Month. True. No. 
February. Go. Please support Buy yeah. Black. Go out there Buy and support black. the black businesses. March is to also support Black Businesses Month. We just made that up right now. But because uh, we're All launching year our stuff. support. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, we're launching our stuff in March. We actually have a, a date set. So we're excited about that. And, and? you to support also Paper Doll Factory. Boop, boop, boop. Friend of the pod. Spess Extraordinaire. Yes. But. They are relaunching their online store too. Mm-hmm. So look for them coming Absolutely. really, really, really soon. But yeah. definitely they'll be up and running in March. But mm-hmm. they're actually launching before that. I say gonna tell their business because it's not for me to tell. But <laughs> we gonna hype them up either yes, way. Exactly. Period. So I like that you're like giving like cocoa, mm-hmm. warm cocoa, marshmallows a little bit. I like that. With maybe like a liqueur. This is my cafe au lait. I like that, but it's a little spice on it. Cafe au lait. See, I think yours is more spice. You think mine's spice? I look like a sweet potato. No. That's I think actually, I look like a sweet potato. That gives me spice. I, I thought that was more spice. I'm not a sweet potato pie. Mm-mm. Okay. That, that's giving me, um, like, it gives me Morocco and turmeric. Oh, yeah. It's good for your joints. Yeah. Okay. I, I like, like how it. you, did you do this? Sh- you make it sexy what it gives me more look more spice i'm sexy it is what it is she is (laughs) (laughs) what's wrong with you i be so hype yes talk about yourself friend she fine okay hair toss bye black yes that's the to go (laughs) all over the place to get back to that's it to go bye black bye black Follow us again on all the platforms. Where can they find us next? You can find us on <laughs> IG. You can find us on TikTok. You can find us on Facebook. You can find us on Spotify and iTunes. So check us out in all the wonderful places and tell a friend about us. Nace is on OnlyFans. Look her up. I'm not on OnlyFans. I make money yeah. from that too. Um, <laughs> Look, we're trying yeah. to get to Usher, okay? You're right. I'm about to be on OnlyFans. <laughs> you're the hottest commodity. It's so. Uh uh. So <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go. <laughs> you guys have a great Saturday oh, yeah. and enjoy the Usher Ball. No, not great Saturday. They go listen to it on the Tuesday. I said what I said. If, if you're listening, <laughs> if you listen to it on a Saturday, have a great just have a great, great day. day and enjoy the Usher Ball. Love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>